Fitly Cab D, Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 2. <clears throat> now, we're finally going to do this the Branch Freight Witness to Speak Junction. Now, this is kind of strange because this has popped up in like a, a chapter sort of section that I, I haven't really noticed. It's not really a timetable thing or a scenario, it's its own little. <clears throat> you get these chapters that sort of cover the, the Liverpool and crew route. So this is the first one, uh, Branch Freight from Witness to Speak Junction. Drive this Branch Freight service from Ditton Junction to Speak Junction, <clears throat> which is fairly easy, but we'll, uh, we'll get going. Uh, one of the first things I want to check, yes, she's there now. Sometimes this is a lady, sometimes it's a man, uh, but <clears throat> Previously in the tutorials, my, my fireman or fire lady would would not appear, which was uh, kind of disconcerting. So, let's get you... Uh, <clears throat> no, 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 I don't want the regulator open, I want this. Set the forwards. Excellent. Uh, I want my brakes <clears throat> to be released. I'm going to stick that fully open. Uh, the large in, uh, ejector <clears throat> just until our vacuum brake pressure comes out up to about 21 all right 29 there we go that's that's fine okay and then we can add a little bit of power not too much power we are on a slight incline this is a heavy consist uh, so you get wheel slip pretty easy but we can uh, <clears throat> sound the whistle and let everybody know that we are presently departing and we can head off right once we get a bit of steam going uh, she's grafting away well done she's a grafter so yeah the fire uh, fireman or fire lady animations are pretty pretty cool actually you don't actually see the coal on the shovel sometimes this door closes Sometimes the timing is slightly off. Right, I'm going to add a bit more power and we're going to close these. That gets rid of quite, it mitigates quite a lot of noise there. And off we go. Chuffing away. Right, so it's 0 0.9 miles to the slow line, but that's just a go via location indicator. We don't actually have to uh, have to stop there. It's just a it's just a waypoint. Uh, it's just a waypoint for the route. One thing I have figured out though: the arrow keys. Oh wait. Ah, oh, there was a a jubilee there, running a passenger service. Okay, so we missed that. Uh, yeah, the arrow keys actually let you sort of move around the cab, which is uh, pretty nice. So we can now go outside and we can look down the back and the sort of front of the train. So it's the same arrow keys that are in uh, train sim uh, for the steam trains for that. I should have really guessed that. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. That's my bad. <clears throat> I'm going to open the regulator a bit more. Uh, we seem to be holding our our steam pressure, our boiler pressure pretty decently. Uh, I wonder if I can go. So can I go all the way to your side? I can. Awesome. Can I go out your window? I can. Awesome. Excellent. So we can get a, a sort of fire, fireman's or fire ladies view as well. Let's open this window, because you can see a bit more clearer once this is open. And we are sort of on our way. You actually see the animations of them uh, shoveling away the coal there inside as well. Right, so the next signal is a red signal and 1.2 miles. <clears throat> I'm fairly confident that that's probably going to change as we... Uh, get to this next marker that's the theory anyway <laughs> right there we go there are the cows in the field very nice 
So I'm not going to slow down here. I'm just going to throw caution to the wind and uh, hope that we'll uh, hope that we'll be okay. Fingers crossed, we'll be okay. There you go. It's got the little deflector here as well. How are you getting on there? <laughs> Grafter. <laughs> She has not stopped shoveling coal since we started. There you go. Take a break. Have a cup of char there from the, the flask. Oh, yeah. So it's changed to green. Ah, oh, this is actually one of the new signals. It's not one of the old-time semaphores with the arm. It's an actual sort of traffic light signal. It's pretty cool. So there is a mix of old and new on this line. Right, so let's add a bit more power. One of the things I will say though is when the the train is sort of at a standstill and you add even the tiniest bit of regulator, add the tiniest bit of power, <clears throat> it seems to be instant, uh, which is kind of weird. There's no sort of build up. In reality, there should be a build up between adjusting the regulator to add power and then the train actually starting to move uh, and here it just sort of goes instantly boom off you go which is kind of weird oh well another freight service hello my freight service friend there you go green bus i think the green buses are maybe mapped in a pier exactly as you go under one of those bridges Right, so we are going to have to slow down in 2.2 miles, which is fine. <clears throat> going to open that regulator sort of right up, see if we can get up to at least 40. <clears throat> there is a slight 0.5% incline as well. So we are going uphill. Now we're going to speak down goods. No problem. <laughs> I absolutely love the whistle on these steam trains. <clears throat> right, so we're approaching 40 miles per hour and one and a half miles will be slowing down to 15, probably just at the entrance to the actual yard itself. We shall see. One thing I do love about the steam trains is the openness. You can see pretty much everything. There we go. <laughs> right, we are going to be cutting steam soon, ladies, so you can stop in just a minute. So, 1.3 miles to go, 1.2. Uh, boiler pressure is roughly about half of half of what it was when we started. So like a hundred and twelve. There we go. We've leveled out, so we are actually picking up steam now. <clears throat> Sound the old whistle there before we go through this. Ah, it's just an abandoned station. Okay, uh, let's actually set the regulator to closed. Let's maybe add 25% on a break-in. And hopefully we'll be able to get her down to 15 <clears throat> before we actually reach that 15 speed limit. confident that we will. Nah, we've still got lots of time. Gonna release the brakes.
I don't want to go below 15. Uh, get this open. Get that closed. Still got 600 yards. <clears throat> until I reach that 50 miles per hour speed limit. So the brakes on this thing are pretty decent as well, I must say. And it takes a bit of time to recover once you actually uh, start braking. <clears throat> Boiler pressure is coming back up though, so that's nice. Right, just let it coast. It is going downhill, but hopefully it should roll under 15 by the time we get to the 15. Possibly, maybe. Okay, add like 10% on the brakes there. Okay. I don't know what the cylinder cocks actually do, but I always find myself just randomly opening them. Right, the regulator is closed. So we're just sort of coasting. <clears throat> there we go, there's the old yard there. So there, are, there is quite a lot of track in the yards, which is pretty cool. Uh, however, some of them are a bit empty. I did notice a few people saying that the, the freight yards were maybe a bit too empty. There we go, we're going uphill again. Have a look see outside. <clears throat> lots and lots of wooden planks there. Or beams. Right, so we are stop at location. So we have to stop here. Because the signal ahead is red. Okay, let's prepare to stop. We are only doing 12 miles per hour and the train is slowing down on its own. There we go, there's another local there. 48321. Five yards, four yards, three yards, two yards, done. Okay, stop at location. So we need to move forward. Uh, let's release the brakes again. Let's get my brake pressure back up. Thank you. Right, we're on a decline as well. So risk of wheel slip is minimum here. Right, so off we go. Speed limit is only 15 for this area, though. <laughs> Where is the actual whistle? There it is. Right, you can take a break there, my friend. I don't know why the door keeps opening and closing. Is that a bug? Open, close, open, close. I'm closing the regulator there. So, you should be fine. And we're heading up to location. That is the left-hand side track. 
Are these points set? Do I need to set these points? They are set. Okay, that's fine. That was that was really real lucky, actually. Now let's jump outside so I can actually see. Had a little touch of brakes there. It'll keep us under the speed limit. And we'll prepare to stop again. It seems like the Steam Loco is another one of those trains where at a certain, a certain percentage of braking, it doesn't really do anything. Right, I'll take that. I will take that. Uh, okay, stop at location, speak A section 7. Right, what I'm going to quickly do is we're going to check this and make sure these points are lined up. Uh, there's a couple of times previously I've went onto the map and it, it hasn't rearranged the points for me. I think we'll be okay, right? So what we shall do is... Set the reverser to go back. Uh, set my brakes to release. Set that to open. There we go. That'll be enough, surely. Whoa, 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 easy on the power. Easy on the power. There we go. Yeah, trying to reverse back up that hill needed a little bit more from the regulator, but too much and it just starts to wheel slip. She looks good there though, so we're okay. Uh, right, I want to sort of go dead slow for this. Now, previously, these points here should send me back down that line there. So are they still set? No, they're set to go straight on. Okay, so these ones are set to go straight on. These other ones are set to go straight on. These ones here are set to go straight on. Gonna cut the power there. These ones are set to go straight on, which is fine. So I need this one to be straight on, I need the next one to branch off to the right and continue as far right as possible. Right, so this one is straight on, which is... No, that's the, oh, that's the right one, actually. And then go left here. Right, we're good. We are good. Right, add a bit more power. And then we are going down here. <clears throat> now the bumper for this is basically right there at the 400. Okay. So I am just going to let it. I kind of need to be on this back, on this brake van. Right. 
Right, we're looking good. It's going to roll in ever so slowly. And back outside. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't do that. Keep an eye on this. Right, we're looking good. There's the front of the train coming around now. I wonder if we have to decouple from this train. Right, we shall prepare a stop. So, brake application 12. Now, I don't know why it says 100 odd yards, right? Oh, ho, 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 ho. little bit of shunt in action there. Objective complete. Please stop. Woofed. <laughs> right, Hail Bank Platform 4. LPC Steam Power Achievement Unlocked. We've got gold as well, so that worked out pretty good, actually. Awesome. Now, the next one is part of the... Part of the same sort of, sort of chapter thing. So, drive this branch freight service from Ditton Junction to Speak Junction. Now, we've just done that, right? Oh, but it's, it's now raining. Okay, so that's interesting. Right, let's go to the main menu because I want to I wanna check something. Uh, so, main menu, right? Do you want to quit the main menu? Yes, I absolutely do. Okay, so this one has got resume, right? Continue journey. And it's got continue let off steam. Let off some steam. Choose a journey. Step back in time. Okay, whoa. I think I've just reloaded the same, the same thing. I have. Okay, right. But what I want to do is go back at the menu. So I don't know how this works, right? Uh, oh, it's a timetable service. Because we have completed one of 135 of the timetable services. So these, 3 of 40. What else some steam? Yeah, so we've got a day in the life. Into the fire. Surprise, surprise. Chapter 8. Too many people. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot to do here. Ferrying across the Mersey. I mean, if I click on chapter two, okay, a day in the life, okay, I get it. We've got branch freight, clock face colliery, speak junction. That's something we need to do. Refueling introduction is done. Through freight, Edge Hill, Neneaton. So we're on day tripper, right? And we need to go branch freight, clock face colliery to speak junction. Now, I don't know how long that actually takes, but we will do it. We'll do it in the next episode. I just I wasn't entirely sure, if I'm perfectly honest, what the hell was actually going on. And it says that the the next scenario is basically this one again, Branch Freight, Witness to Speak Junction, but it's just because it's, just it's raining. So what we'll do is we'll try and mix it up a bit and get sort of different types different types of weather but we'll continue on with these because they look kind of fun uh, if we go back uh, right so go back go to the old timetable now it says I've completed one so I think this is the timetable you but you can basically select anything you sort of want so try and find what we just did branch face right so there's that Edge Hill, Edge Hill, blah, blah, blah. Witness Speak Junction. Right, so we've done that. Go up to the top. Where's my gold? I love gold. There it is. Branch Freight, Witness to Speak Junction. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. So that is interesting. But we shall leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you would like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. But I've been Danny Men, this has been Train Sim World, Spirit of Steam, and I will catch you later.